Okay, we got Kajana Carter here, first round draft pick, overall first pick out of Penn State, goes to Cincinnati Bengals. Here at Bob Beam's already Olympians. Kajana, how you doing, brother? I'm doing good, Artie. How you doing, man? I'm having the time of my life here with all these superstars here, including yourself. How can I not have a great time here at Bob Beam's already Olympians? Man, I tell you what, man, it's like my childhood dream. You know, I grew up loving basketball. Dr. J was my favorite basketball player. Played golf with him today and took a photo with him. And I see Jack and Joanna Kersey and Carl Lewis. I'm a tra former track guy, so I'm just like everybody else. I'm a fan. This, I'm a fan this weekend. I love this. Look, well, first of all, Dr. J is my guy. I love Dr. He's the greatest basketball player I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and uh, I'm elated to come down here to see all these superstars. And I'm glad to see you, you're out here uh, doing something great for Bob Beeman and the RD Olympians and giving your time out and playing some golf and, and helping out. I think it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, actually, well, Bob's a, good, a dear friend of mine. Um, and I know him living on the east part of Florida. Um, so we've known each other for a while, and he uh, contacted me and said he's having a, uh, a golf tournament for his foundation. And, you know, anytime I can help out, you know, really dear friends, and then also something for a good cause, I'm always for it. But John, take me back to your first round uh, pick, the first overall pick in the, in the draft for the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, when you knew, when you were drafted number one, as an overall number one, how did that feel inside for you that night? Well, I mean, that's so long ago now. <laughs> you asked me the question. But, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of a whirlwind because I was still in school. Um, I, wanted, I made a promise to my mom that I would graduate. And so I knew I was leaving early as a junior, so I took, I was taking extra credit, extra classes to make sure I finished on time. So, that whole, that whole time of going to do the draft was almost like a blur because everything, either I had to go see a team, then have a final, and then have a test, and then it was just very, very crazy. But you know, looking back now, you know, you kind of get, get, get time to reflect on some things, and that was something I'm definitely proud of because there's only you know, one person like that every year. Exactly right, and usually it's a guy who's a great player, be the number one, overall one pick. And coming from Penn State, it's a great university, running back university, linebacker you, right? right? And you got a chance to play with some great players and also have a chance to have a great coach in Joe Paterno. Well, yeah, you know, being, uh, being, uh, being able to be coached by a legend like Coach Paterno, you know, I, you know, I loved him like a father. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great program. And I'm, I'm proud to say, you know, I went to Penn State, I'm a Nittany Lion, and I'm a part of that football program. I think uh, what happened over at Penn State, tragedy, and... Um, it's, it's been beaten to death, but it's such a shame for Penn State, for the kids that are suffering now who play on that football team, for what happened back in 1998. It's just it's a shame for the, for, the, for the team, and they had a great year this year for a team that was not supposed to even win any games. They played great this year, Penn State. Well, kudos to the, to the senior class, to all the kids who, who stayed there and, uh, and fought through this, and you know, kudos to Coach O'Brien you know, coming in um, and stealing uh, what he wanted to get done. You know, he did a great job with his team. I'm just so proud of that senior class, how they stuck together. And it was really us against the world. And it was great to see that, to show the world and say, you know what, everybody doubted us besides everybody on that team and all the alumni and all the, everybody in that football program. We're the only ones that stuck together. And, and you know, we were 8 4, but you know, for what's going on, that was a tremendous season. It definitely was. Kajana, uh, I want to thank you so much for coming on our show, and hopefully one day we can have you on our show, not on the video, but we'll call you up and get you on our show. You know, we do a show with Chris Dolman okay. every 6, uh, 6 to 6 30 on Tuesdays, and Seth Joyner, the linebacker oh, yeah? from okay. Philadelphia, yeah. 7 8 on Thursdays. So hopefully I'll grab your number and we'll put you on the show, and uh, it's been a great time to talk with you. Last question for you Who was your favorite football player? Man, that's tough. Um, probably. I would say Barry Sanders, favorite like running, back. running back. But I, but I grew up a Cowboy fan, so I saw Everson Walls here today. I told him I was uh, it used to make my day. And Tony Dorsett. said there were so many guys, but I would say my favorite running back was probably uh, Barry Sanders. Good, John, and thank you so much for Thanks, being on the Arctic Clear Show. I definitely appreciate. it. Right. Thank you. Nice, man.